Hi guys, today we're going to look at how we can configure our camera so that it automatically adjusts the view when the line of sight to our character is blocked. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to click like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when we release our next video. If you'd like to support our work and get access to the source code, you can find us on Patreon. Or if you'd like to make a one-off donation, you can find us on coffee.com. Thanks so much to everyone that's donated already. Okay, we'll start with this scene that has a character and some obstacles. We created this scene in the earlier videos of our 3D platformer series, so take a look if you want to know how it was done. We've currently got a Cinemachine virtual camera that follows our character around, but at the moment, if we move behind the wall, our view is blocked. Before we look at how to fix this, we'll quickly recap our camera setup. We added the Cinemachine package and then created a new virtual camera. We then dragged our character into the follow slot so that our camera follows the character. We're now going to use another component of Cinemachine to prevent our view from being blocked. We'll click on the Extensions drop down and select Cinemachine Collider. This adds a component that will check if the view to our target is blocked and will automatically try to resolve it. There are a few options for how it tries to do this. The default strategy is Preserve Camera Height, which will attempt to change the view while staying at the original height. Alternative options are Pull Camera Forward, which moves the camera forwards along the Z axis, and Preserve Camera Distance, which changes the view while trying to maintain the original distance from the target. We'll leave the default settings and press play to try it out. Now when we move behind the wall, the camera rotates to keep the character in view. And if we move away from the wall, the camera returns to its original position. At the moment, the camera snaps instantly between the different views. We can make this look a lot smoother by adding some damping to the movement. Let's stop the game and set the damping value to 2. This setting determines how quickly the camera will return to its normal position. We'll also set the damping when occluded value to 2. This setting determines how quickly the camera will move when trying to resolve an occlusion. Let's press play to try this out. Now when we move behind the wall, the camera moves smoothly to keep the character in view. And when we move away from the wall, the camera smoothly returns to the original position. Ok, that covers everything for this video. Hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks guys!